Uh, should we watch this Anthony Cumia, uh, Bill Burr confrontation thing? Yes, play me some tax. All right. We'll, uh, we'll check out Anthony's, uh, Bill Burr story here. Uh, let me just, uh, oh yeah. Total loss. People, uh, they tuned out. They went over to, um, a show that talks about black people. Well, we'll, we'll get to that today. Jesus. <laughs> let me see. First one, fag. Oh my, oh my god, god Aaron. Wow, can't do that on YouTube. No, no, no. <laughs> he's drinking Budweiser still. Oh, he's drinking Budweiser. He's not drinking Bud Light. Now, is that kind of like nope. gay adjacent because it's Budweiser? It is not, not Bud because uh, Dylan Mulvaney uh, doesn't want to pack on the calories. You I know? don't like the name Mulvaney no. anymore with the Especially since it's an act. Especially since it's a toxic actor's name. All right. <laughs> Uh, so that, uh, gay F word, uh, we're fun. sorry. We didn't, we don't, uh, support that word. Uh, <laughs> just I, mean, I mean, I do. I just don't hey, support it on the channel. I'm trying to help our oh, fucking reach here. I'm but sorry. I think that word is terrible. You know what? I'm going to be fired someday for trying to do the right thing. That word is a sign of the toxic times that we're living in. And I disavow it completely. Okay, is that so hard? Just not in my private life. That's fine. That, this is business. All right. <laughs> God. Saying, I think. You know who your friends are, things like that. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. People that are uh, uh, watching and remember what I was doing yesterday after the show, uh, going to see Jimmy Norton at the Big Black Pussycat. Loved it. Loved <laughs> At the what? I, I know. I, you know what? I don't know. I miss a lot when I miss one episode of the Anthony Cumia I show. I We just missed yesterday because we're having like a down day because we're both wiped. Does Does and... anyone else get nervous when he starts talking on an uncensored platform and he I goes, I went to see Jim Norton at the Big Black and I'm like, well, here we go. Our <laughs> channel's getting a strike. Pussy. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Cat. Oh, thank Christ. Oh, Big Black Pussycat. Yes, thank God. God, out of all the ways that could have gone, that was probably the most wholesome. I like his face here. Jimmy uh, hugged my good friend, Jimmy Norton. I love him. And uh, we are inseparable. Uh, then why don't you marry him? Got him. Fucking burned Kumia right there. Come on. You're Up embarrassing top. us in front of our friends. Oh, that's... These people aren't your friends. Fine. Had a few drinks. Had a few drinks. Went over to the Comedy Cellar, which, of course, is the iconic comedian of New York gathering place. You ever just listen to someone talk and you're like, something sad's about to happen? Yes. Like, just by their tone, you're like, this is going to be sad. Well, that's what you get when you listen to somebody a lot. Yeah. You know what's coming. You're like, you know what? I feel like this is going to be a depressing story. Is that a cigarette thing in front of him? Yeah, he's got a little cigarette holder. It's a fun little homage to, like, Johnny Carson. And I shit. haven't seen that before. Now... Last night, or the night before last, actually, was the Patrice O'Neill benefit. The Patrice O'Neill benefit. Uh, I was at a couple of them until, well, <laughs> I became something called persona non grata. I think that's Latin or French, something like that. But I am persona non grata. And, uh, and that's, I, I, for the record, I don't care how Anthony talks. I don't care how he covers news stories. I don't, I don't care about his opinions on race and things like that. He was a big part of Patrice O'Neill's history. Mm -hmm. And they were friends. Uh, so for someone who's not Patrice, obviously him being dead, uh, and in this case, Bill Burr, who does run the Patrice O'Neill benefit, for outside people to determine who gets to be part of the remembrance of Patrice O'Neill. Oh no! I'm sorry, I bumped a. Well, I do think it's shit. Uh, I bumped a uh, button there. Sorry. Where is that shit? Fuck you! Sorry. Um, for someone who's not Patrice to be able to determine who gets to come in and who doesn't, I think it's bullshit. Uh, I think it is disappointing because I like Anthony. I like Bill Burr. I like them both. I I think they're both hilarious. But for Bill to determine that he doesn't like the way Anthony talks about race, so you can't come to my treehouse and you can't hang out with the Patrice O'Neill people anymore. That is bullshit. That's petty. That shouldn't be allowed. It's not... Anthony's not going to go to the Patrice O'Neill benefit and start talking about black people. No. He's not going to the Patrice O'Neill benefit and going to start quoting FBI statistics. He's going to talk about his friend. Right. The he's memories. Go he's going to enjoy and remember his friend. And by the way, people like Bill Burr, if you don't like the way Anthony talks about race, if you don't like his thoughts on politics, 
Has history shown you that banning him and canceling him and getting him out of shit makes him better? Totally. Like getting like having Anthony Cumia not come to your thing is going to make him stop talking about these things. It might make it worse. I, it genuinely tends to make him worse. Because Anthony doesn't go, oh, they don't like me anymore. I'm a shrinking violet. I'll be a good boy and not talk about these things. Nope. 15 tweets in a row. Fuck you. I'll do, here's, here's all these news stories and here's my thoughts on it. So not letting him be at the Patrice O'Neill benefit is horseshit. He was a big part of Patrice's life. He was a good friend of Patrice O'Neill, and just because you and your wife don't like his opinions and his thoughts on race, you're not going to let him in. Bullshit. I don't like it. I don't dislike Bill Burr. I don't hate his comedy all of a sudden. I'm not a phony in that way. Right. I think both of these guys are funny. I think it's tragic the way this has been handled. I was not invited back, and it was a personal thing between... Uh, Bill Burr and me and Bill's wife and uh, not as sordid as I just made it sound. But um, so I go to the cellar and I think Amy Schumer was there too. See, I, now I don't see now th why? this now every moment after Anthony Cumia is aware of this, that he stays in the comedy cellar, I find whatever happens next to be his fault. You found out Amy Schumer was at right. the comedy cellar. And you stayed in the building. And no offense, this one's on you. Can you imagine hanging out with Amy Schumer? That's what you get for going to an Amy Schumer show. Bad shit should happen. It's God's way of telling you, get the fuck out of there. I was trying to save you for better things. Yes. There was a documentary on race and crime on Nat Geo you could have watched. <laughs> Saw her walk in. I think she went right downstairs. And her security guy... Now, who is Amy Schumer's security guy? Oh, boy. Uh -oh. Garrett? Cake boss? Ginger ale Joe? Close. Close. Ginger Close. Joe. Club soda Kenny. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, Opie and Anthony lore, Club Soda Kenny was the security guy for Opie and Anthony back in the day. Yeah. Good friends. Mm -hmm. Had him on the show. Common, I mean, Club Soda Kenny is a very well-known name amongst Opie and Anthony fans. Knew him a long time. Listen to the fucking RoboGuard 3000 that Club Soda Kenny is. I, I haven't watched this yet. People told me about it. Listen to the fucking, you write me the check, yes boss, no boss, uh, robot Club Soda Kenny can be. There you go. Club Soda Kenny. Uh -oh. It's a D, not a T, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Oh, he's mad. <laughs> what the <laughs> what fuck? Can we go back? I what? don't know what that was. It made me uncomfortable, though. What? Why is Popeye doing Anthony Cumia's show all of a sudden? I, Look I'm at these faces sure. that he's I making. Feel like it, yeah, I feel like his biceps swelled <laughs> yes. in that moment. What happened? He was like Bane turning on the venom all of a sudden. Woo. B Sota Kenny. His face is getting red, too. He puts spit in his mouth. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> That's an Italian thing. You spit on the ground at the mention of someone's name. That's a, a primo insult. Yeah, this isn't good. He spits on his own floor. I never understood that. So Kenny walks in. Amy is in front of him. So he probably couldn't see much of the club. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Some would call that petty. That's a bit of a petty joke. I like you it. You see, though. folks, if you don't get the joke, Amy Schumer's a whale. Continue, Anthony. Fat ass, honey. Get it? So uh, I go, I go, Kenny, Kenny. He looks at me, turns his head, and keeps walking. Oh. And I keep going, Kenny, Kenny. Oh, no. That's, oh, that's like that's actually kind of heartbreaking. That's like one of those um, Ebenezer Scrooge ghost of Chris, like yeah. when he's a ghost. Yep. And he's like trying to say hi to people and waving and they can't Nobody see him. Or they sees him. Oh, that's bullshit. That sucks. That's not nice. That's, I'm sorry to be so weird about it. That's not OK. You knew the guy for years. You can say hello. You can say hi. I mean, this, this I, fear of being associated with this guy. Why? 
Because he, I mean, really, let's boil it down. He says fucked up shit about black people. Okay, is he hurting somebody? I mean, no. black people's feelings. Feelings? <laughs> I mean, sure. But a lot. But like, you can't say hi to an old friend because he has opinions on race that you you may find them detestable. Look, there's there's tweets and things Anthony said about race where I go, holy shit. That got rich. Yikes. That is not something I would say, especially not out loud publicly. <laughs> but, but What you do in your personal life right. is on your time. But the guy <laughs> says hello to you and you right. can't say hi. Why? Because if you say hi, you'll breathe in droplets and start yelling at black people. Amy might fire him. Oh, well, then in that case, it's fucking gross. Oh, that whole entertainment industry is fucking disgusting. You got to pick sides. Oh, it's so... Ugh. Nothing. Totally ignored. Totally ignored. Well, he's security guy, and I get that part of it. Being security for somebody should not make you obligated to despise the people that your client despises should it right especially if you've had a relationship over the course of the years a very close relationship i many times was his client i right. was mostly mm. uh, uh a keith the cops client but kenny was mostly like opie's client uh, or opie's uh, uh security guy uh so i'm just like all right look i even got that i got it Amy, Amy does not like me at this point. I there, there's like there's shitting on people, and then there's your feelings are hurt. Right. Like this is this is a this guy fucking hurt my feelings. This rant. is sad. Yeah. There's the shit out of her as well. We all should. She's a Schumer for fuck's sake, like Chuck <laughs> Schumer. She bashes uh, our our Second Amendment right. Okay. So I, I I was like, okay, no big. I'm having a few drinks. And as I had brought up prior, uh oh. The wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You ever hear someone tell a story and you hear a part where you go, you know, I was gonna tap out of this story. I'm back I'm in. I'm back in. When someone says the words, I had a few drinks, I go, All right, I'll hang around for what happens next. What is the alcohol fueling? Be right, because that means that whatever he's about to tell you now needs to be informed by the phrase, I had a few drinks. Now, is it Bud Light? Because that would make this outcome a lot different. Oh, then he's going to fuck Kenny in the ass. Right. <laughs> and make him humble uh, if he had Bud Light. But he drinks Budweiser, so he was still very masculine. Okay. Um, but yeah, anytime someone says, I had a few drinks, the story then doesn't go. And then we just responsibly nodded at each other and I went home. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, so let's see where this goes from here. Uh, the Patrice O'Neill benefit was the night before and people are still in town uh -oh. now who who but i love quizzing the booth who puts on the patrice o'neill benefit every year oh oh me april call on me oh ooh, ooh. aaron who choose i don't know shit damn it I thought is I that gonna, not it i just always guess that when I people say who puts on it. this event okay bill burr bill burr bill Burr. Well, if Bill Burr's in town oh and all God. these comics that did the show, they're in town. Uh-oh. Where would they go in New York City? Oh, boy. A familiar place oh, where boy. they came up. And uh, the Sirius XM Studios at the Opie and Anthony show? Mm. Fuck, I keep getting these wrong. You are wrong. Damn it. The Comedy Cellar mm. in New York City. So... Bill Burr comes in, and I'm sitting there. And it got very chilly in the room. <laughs> get it? Oh, get it, Burr. Bill Burr. And want, him and Anthony don't get along. I want it to be one name, like Bill Burr. Bill, the Bill Burr group. I see Bill. And I'm not going to be a faggot. Oh, it was Bill Burr. It's YouTube. I'm sorry. CompoundMedia.com, by the way, if you'd like uh, more of these. Uh, while you're there watching the Anthony Cumia show, you can watch Gino Bisconti on In Hot Water, and you can watch the shows that we've been on. The Steel Toe, uh, the Steel Toe Show episode, uh, 21 Gun Salute, 
uh, the uh, Air, uh, Gino the and I did a water sports. We did the in hot water sports show. It's careful how you say that. Um, uh, so if you'd like more of this entertainment, compoundmedia.com. Yeah, see that fidgety shit you're doing? Yeah. That's how I feel right now. I love how like I love how quickly it can just come out of his mouth. Like there's no warning. Nothing. I'm not gonna no be lead up. Um, Bill Burr, by the way. It was not someone that looked like Bill Burr that I took a picture of or a video and didn't talk to or attempt to have some words with. I did attempt oh boy. to have some words with Bill Burr. That's where the I had a few drinks line came in. Uh-oh. Because if you've listened to Anthony over the years, the relationship with Bill Burr has deteriorated significantly. Oh, God, like Aaron's rotting tooth. Yes, to the point where Bill <laughs> Burr has told Anthony face-to-face, -face, I can't speak with you anymore. Which, again, I think is really too bad. fucking shitty. Because... If Anthony goes on his show and says, oh, I talked to Bill Burr yesterday, it's not like Disney's going to go, hey, Bill, we can't have you on The Mandalorian anymore right. because we heard you spoke to Anthony Cumia. Disney doesn't give a shit about Anthony Cumia. No. They don't care if you spoke to Anthony Cumia. Uh, so, okay, Anthony tries to talk to Bill Burr. After uh, a few drinks. Th this is like your your parents after their divorce go to talk to each other and you're like a teenager and you're like, oh boy, how's this going to go? I was going over there to be sincere, to try my best to, as uh, as Bobby Kelly said, bury this shit with Burr. Bobby Kelly told me that. He goes, could you bury this shit with Burr? So I'm like, look, we're both here. The problem with burying the shit is that both parties have to want to do it. Right. It's like a drug addict getting help. You got to want to get over the thing first. Uh, we talked about this before in the in the previous weeks. If you and I went to Adrian Washington to have a conversation, we could probably bury the shit. Well, he's um, got to want to, though. Too. He would. I And I think he would. I, I think it's it's been enough time. It wasn't, you know, it, it's it, you know, t enough time has passed where you can't possibly have personal feelings about this uh, anymore on his end. Right. Uh, your end is, I understand, very different. But um, you, the problem Anthony has here with burying the shit with Burr is that I don't think Anthony ever wanted to have any shit. Uh, uh, so he's trying to bury it. Bill Burr wants the shit. He doesn't want to sure. bury it. That gives him something against I, him. His wife doesn't like Anthony. I mean, that's, that is not an uncommon thing in relationships. Your wife doesn't like one of your friends shit's got to be weird with your friend now it happens in bad marriages it happens in bad friendships uh i was gonna say i can't think of any of your friends that i would sit around and say don't go be around that person except maybe the one who chokes you <laughs> you know that's a bit rich but i still don't see myself saying don't i would see myself saying go you know if he wants to make good go make good right you know let me bury this shit with burr i'll try it I walk up to the table. Look out. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Uh, he's sitting down. I I kind of uh, used a chair to put my knee on to get on a, a level. This sounds gay. I'm a little nervous, yeah. <laughs> Anthony's setting this up in a way where this is going to end with either fireworks or a kiss. Is he about to talk about how gay this sounds he is, with he, any certain language? He is not. <laughs> I am. Uh, he is not setting this up like, oh, and Bill and I had a nice talk and things went very well. This is ending with either we made out and fingered each other's assholes or I was thrown out of God. the comedy cellar using my head to open the door like De Niro in Casino with the cheaters at the uh, blackjack table. Yeah. I said, Billy, hi, what's up? How you doing? Uh, uh, Dad! Who? Now I'm starting to think maybe this was not the best move. <laughs> oh, no. Dude! A guy yells at you for saying hello. First of all, if you yell at a guy for saying hello to you, you're an asshole. Yep, yeah, right. You are the jerk. Here's, here's You don't even know what he's coming up to you about. Right. Here's how polite human beings handle it. Let's say uh, I'm Bill Burr. You're Anthony. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm kneeling. I'm kneeling. I'm like, hey, Bill. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I was expecting a scream. No, I'll I'm saying honest. this is how you handle it if you're a human being who doesn't like this right, person yeah, yeah. And, and doesn't want to talk to them. Well, Bill, I just really, 
I really kind of wanted to bury the shit between us. Uh, hey, cool. Man, look, uh, I'm here to have a good time and everything else. We'll talk later. All right? It's good to see you. We'll talk to you some other time. Okay. All right. That sounds cool. All right. Good to see you. All right, bye. <laughs> there. That's it. Now you can go back to hating the guy. As Anthony <laughs> leaves the table, you can tell you, like, I fucking hate that, that, that piece of shit. Lied. That carb. Yeah, it's son of a bitch. Fucking liar. You don't make it weird out in front of everybody because now, yeah, you want to you wanna virtue signal and let everyone know that you disavow this guy. Now you've made everyone else's night weird. Now it is weird and you're going to have to talk about it. Right. Dude wasn't dude. It was dude. Like... Anthony Cumia, it's not 2010. If you're seen with Anthony Cumia, it's not a scarlet letter. He's behind a paywall. The people who want to see him, see him. The people who don't want to see him haven't seen him in years. It's, it's fine. Literally over a decade later. Right. You do not have to worry. Bill, your career is in great shape. If Anthony Cumia touches you, you're not going to die. Like when he talks about white women, <laughs> just disdain in his voice. <laughs> Uh, what are you fucking talking to me? After the shit you said about my wife? Oh, shit. Hey, Bill. First of all, the fans are the ones that kicked that whole fucking thing off. Never said, well, I didn't get that much out before. Now, let me think. Let me ask the booth. This is tense. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, I'm. Who else does Club Soda Kenny do security for? Um, Bill? I'm going to guess Bill Burr. I'm going to guess Bill. <laughs> Jim Norton. Jim Norton. Oh, very hi. good. But I had seen Jim prior to that and spoken to him, and he was great. Funny fuck show. He's one of the loves of my life, Jim Norton. So that wasn't really an issue that he's done security for that. Now we have talked. Amy Schumer. She was in, I guess she was downstairs doing a, a set or something. And someone else that Club Soda Kenny does security for. It can't be Opie. No, he had <laughs> Wouldn't it be, wouldn't this That's just be funny. the ultimate shit night for Anthony? He's hanging out with Bill. If all of a sudden Opie <laughs> is there and he hangs out with Bill Burr. Yeah. Security for the great Greg Opie Hughes. See, if I were Bill Burr, I would be more nervous about Opie touching me than Anthony touching me because I'd be worried I'd catch has been more than I'd catch racism. And I don't want to catch has been. Nobody wants that. Yeah. Beer show. Watch it on Opie radio. He's showing his face now and stuff. I know. Yeah. I guess ever since uh, uh, Alex uh, uh, Stein uh, did uh, presented him. Back to uh, Bill Burr. I he's don't now like, okay, I could show my face. Yeah. I saw him in a restaurant, um, <laughs> actually at a bar, just so, prior to this. Call uh, pop up, yeah. um, Anthony. It's again, they're right, just fat. Does security oh. for Bill Burr. So when I was up there t chatting, trying to bury this shit with Bill Burr, his security guy, oh boy, Club Soda Kenny, quite literally threw me out of the comedy cellar. Oh, so no. there was physical shit. Oh, no. So he then went up to Bill Burr to say hello. Bill yelled at him in front of all the comics, and then Club Soda Kenny grabbed him and threw him out of the comedy cellar. You know, I'll say this about Club Soda Kenny. What a fucking, like, robot. What a machine robot he is that he can forget anything he's ever had in common with this guy or any interactions or history he's ever had with this guy, and he can just grab him and go, I gotta throw you out now, sir. Like, he throws him out like a common drunk bum at a bar, forgetting any history they've ever had. I actually feel bad for Anthony in this I one. do, too. I feel, I feel sad for him. I will say it was probably a misstep to go even talk to Bill Burr, because I just feel like Bill is just gonna be a well, cunty prick about that until the day he dies. Check it out. Kind of like we said about Adrian, like... If we're going to meet up with Adrian and bury the hatchet and be friends again or just be cool again, right? we're going to have to message him prior. Like, we're going to yeah. have to let him know, like, hey, we'd really like to meet up and, you know, I, I think square An things up. I think Anthony misjudged how cunty Bill Burr is about this. Yeah. And he thought he could just go up, hey, how's it going? Because sometimes if you approach someone in public, they have to be nice. And Bill Burr displayed that he, in fact, uh, is He's not, not one of those guy. people. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He 
chest bumped me out of the fucking place. I was not worthy oh. to bury the shit with Bill Burr. And by the way, that's why I never tried to bury the shit with Bill Burr. In my drunken haze last night, it seemed like a good idea. Bobby Kelly echoing in my head, you got to bury the shit with Burr, dude, and get a bandolier. <laughs> Kenny, the guy I fucking spent years with as one of our security guys, chest bumped me, physically removed me. Didn't even nicely be like, listen, man, you got to no, no, no. get straight just, to just get physical. Go, go, go. Wow. And you fuckers know. When I'm drunk, you cunts know I'm a magnanimous fucking dick face. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey, self-awareness. Well, he is, yeah. I'm kidding. See, that's part of the joke. Oh. I don't get drunk and belligerent. I'm not a belligerent guy, especially when I'm trying to bury shit. I don't go. I didn't go. Uh, look, Billy Burr, uh, <laughs> Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> now that see that would have been funnier. That would have way more fun. Now, if look, looking back, if you would have known you were going to get thrown out just for saying hello, just do that. Just do that next time. Right. Uh, Bill Burr, the Mandalorian. How's Walt Disney's dead dick taste, Ginger? F and you can say certain oh, words whoa. on his platform that we can't say here. Sure. That would have been a better way to go out. Some fireworks. <sighs> Probably woman DeLorean, faggot DeLorean. Oh, okay, there we go. Can't take that thing. one back. He said the thing. Anything but man DeLorean. Didn't do that. Oh, good. And then I See, was. April, it doesn't matter. He didn't do that. He did not do that. There you go. Physically. Oh, God. Removed. Every time anything, he makes an F word any now. F sound is like. Oh, boy. <laughs> By Club Soda Kenny. Dude, I'm beside myself. Fuck. I'm beside myself. Just thinking. This has been on my mind that this fucking guy who we supported, paid, and enjoyed the company of for years. I was just another piece of shit. Yep. And in the way. Yeah. So and that's, well, that's subscribe to Compound Media. Mm -hmm. We played a lot of their paywall clip there. Uh, subscribe to Compound, become a member like we are. Wonderful place. Yep. Um, that's just it. I mean, the amount of automaton, the amount of like roboticness to Club Soda Kenny to. Pull to, to like just take a guy he's known personally for years and just throw him out like common street trash. In a way, it makes you go, wow, Club Soda Kenny's a really dependable security guy. Terrible personal relationship Terrible. guy. Terrible. But great at his job. Mm hmm. There you go. Well, this is on another, uh, from another angle too. This is sometimes why people need to stop with you. You should bury this with this person right. and be quit being shitty like that too. Because there are a lot of times one of the two parties is trying to bury this shit and they're not allowed to because they're treated like garbage for it. Right, exactly. So you, it's not always a possibility to bury the shit with somebody. Yeah, well, and comics are such dysfunctional human beings. Yeah. Like there's something broken in comics where... You have conversations with comics that you don't have with people past the age of nine. I have but, noticed that with some of them. Yes. <laughs> with comedians, you try to talk to them about certain things like, well, I can't deal with this person because we had this issue. And then, well, you should go bury the shit with... Like, it's like high school. It's, it seems You deal silly. with comics and you go, oh, you should go talk to this person because they're mad at you because you didn't go to the dance with them or whatever. And it's like, would you guys fucking stop it? And you know what the weird thing is about comics no matter how miserable they seem about this drama that they're talking about they love it they enjoy it i guess it's something to talk about right there's a point there's a part of them that kind of enjoys it uh king 40 says this pisses me off so much um you know like i said there is a part of this though where you look at anthony and you go hey dude i mean you should have known Bill Burr was going to be a cunt about this. Well, now, you know what? Not, not to that level. 
now that he's done that, Anthony won't try again. Yeah, that's you know, like that's that's not something somebody's willing to uh, put themselves through a second time. Yeah, he's probably yeah, he's probably not going to deal with that ever again. And now the shitty things he says about Bill Burr might get worse because yeah. you were shitty to him. Yeah, that's not exactly like the Bill Burr talk is going to get nicer now. Right. At this point, you've, you've made that a lot worse. Uh, Boombag says, Aaron, it is important to note that Kenny was fired as a New Jersey cop in 2006 and ONA supported him when he was reeling. That's true. That happens to a lot of people. Like, Anthony could have been really great to club soda fucking Kenny. And yeah. well, Ken, it, I mean, it doesn't matter down the road. I, I think what it shows about club soda Kenny is that mm -hmm. when it comes to the security business and all that, whoever wrote the last check is who he's loyal to. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, because there's no reason, like, even if you have to get him away from Bill Burr, if you've known the guy for years, there's no reason why you can't just go, hey, man, let's just go over here. It's not going to work tonight. We're not going to have this conversation. You go over this way. We'll stay over here. You just head over that way. That would be the more mature to Yeah, to bump him out of the club. As if you have the authority to do that, too. Yeah, that's that kind of, right, it's not your club. You yeah. just get You just get him away from Bill Burr. Right. Uh, Robert says Ant did end by saying fuck Bill Burr and fuck Club Soda Kenny. Uh, Big Cat says Ant is not the guy you tie your wagon to. We're not saying tie your wagon to him. We're saying don't be a fucking cunt and throw him out of a bar for trying to, as he says, bury the shit. I mean, well, he didn't even get time to get it out to Bill that, hey, right. I'd like to bury the shit with you. He didn't get to talk. It's just, again, so. it's just all so fucking childish. Mm -hmm.